For critical cooling applications like data centers, pharmaceutical labs, and semiconductor plants, uptime and reestablishing cooling as fast as possible following a power loss is a central issue. Loss of cooling at these sites can mean lost production, lost revenue, and potentially equipment damage. Therefore, this subject can drive many facility design decisions, with a big one being the size or need for backup thermal storage systems or buffer tanks with a ready supply of chilled water. This video will take a look at York's Quick Start software, how it works, and how it can drive system design decisions for critical cooling applications. So what is York's Quick Start feature? Well, provided as standard or optionally on several variable speed water-cooled and air-cooled chillers, its value-added offering focused on minimizing the time to restart following a chiller power loss, and it focuses on loading the chiller as quickly as possible to rapidly achieve a leaving chilled water temperature set point. In other words, the main objective is to provide facility owners or operators with a maximum uptime by providing the fastest chiller restart and the fastest capacity recovery possible. To better explain, let's take a look at it in action at the customer center of York's chiller manufacturing facility in San Antonio, Texas. Here we're conducting a power loss simulation on a 530 ton or 1,865 kilowatt YMC squared chiller for a York customer. So power was cut at zero seconds and restored at the 17 second mark. Then, after going through a few safety checks and startup processes, the chiller starts ramping up and begins making chilled water about half a minute later at the 50 second mark. Then, again fast forwarding a bit, within a few minutes the chiller is back at set point and meeting the customer's load requirement. And, depending on the application and operating conditions, we've seen YMC squared chillers get back to full capacity in less than two and a half minutes following a power loss, which far exceeds typical industry centrifugal chiller times. In fact, Quick Start can get back to 80% of the load requirement faster than any other chiller manufacturer, in some cases twice as fast. So let us discuss how York chillers can do this. Well, specifically for a chiller like the YMC Square that was tested, it can get started and back to capacity so fast due to three primary drivers. First, by implementing the proprietary Quick Start software, which optimizes chiller startup and ramp up processes. Second, the YMC Square utilizes a standard York OptiSpeed variable speed drive. This provides maximum motor protection during startup and operation. It cuts down on the time between chiller restarts, as we saw in the video. And when directed to, it can ramp up the speed multiple times faster than any other manufacturer's design. Third, most YMT squared models have an integrated, uninterruptible power supply, or UPS, that provides smart power management to keep the magnetic bearing controller, OptiView panel, and OptiSpeed VSD energized until the facility's emergency generator is activated. Now, getting back to one of the original questions, how did chillers start and load times relate to buffer tank sizing? Well, consider the example of a data center with a 500 gallon per minute chilled water requirement. After the chilled water leaves the chiller, it flows into a 5,000 gallon tank, which based on the flow rate need, should be able to provide approximately 10 minutes of chilled water. Meaning if there was a power loss, this reserve could fill the required cooling gap until the chillers were back online and meeting the required load. And this is a relatively simple and effective solution to this customer concern. But the big issue is that these tanks are expensive to buy and install and quite often take up valuable real estate. A great way to reduce the size requirement for this tank is to get the chillers back online fast. And depending on the overall chilled water loop size, the buffer tank need could be totally eliminated. In other words, the size or need for a buffer tank is largely proportional to the time required to get the chillers back to capacity. So in our example, if a chiller with quick start was implemented and we reduced the chiller restart time to approximately one minute for a nice round number, then the customer could reduce their buffer tank size to only 500 gallons or one tenth the original size, which translates to money and space savings that can be reappropriated toward the data center's purpose. To summarize, chillers with Quick Start enabled deliver facility owners or operators the best opportunity to maximize system uptime, reduce risk, save money, and save real estate. 
This is why the installation base of chillers with quick start capabilities is well over 100 sites globally and growing. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact your local Johnson Control sales representative. York, high performance environments for life.